Liverpool fans have reacted with disbelief after two French politicians stuck to their guns, blaming them for the chaos that marred the Champions League final. Despite overwhelming evidence to the contrary, the nation's interior and sports minister repeated to an inquiry on Wednesday that 40,000 fake tickets were in circulation, although official figures show only 2,589. They also claimed that they expected trouble following the European Championship final and made the bizarre statement that had they closed the gates outside the Stade de France there would have been a pitch invasion in Gerald Darmanin and sports minister Amelie Odia Costura, who have already triggered outrage on Merseyside double down when quizzed by fellow politics. It is understood that French President Emmanuel Macron is privately furious with Darmanin's response to a shocking night at which Liverpool supporters, including women and children, were forced to wait at turnstiles for hours and indiscriminately tear-gassed with thousands. French media say Macron found the events shameful and unworthy of France. But the underfire pair continued to aim slurs at Liverpool supporters, who accused them of barefaced lies and utter madness on social media following the hearing which was screened on you. Udia Kostura continued to seek excuses for what was a shambolic security operation. The time we had to prepare for this final was short, she said. We only knew the identity of the finalists on May 4, especially Liverpool with the very specific risk their fan. Darmanin added, Liverpool supporters pose a risk to our public. Not all of them, but a poor. He did say concede the event could have been handled better adding that he was sorry for a disproportionate use of tear gas ahead of the final which Real Madrid won 1-0 on Saturday night. But Darmanin said that if the gates had not been closed there would certainly have been a pitch invasion and the match would have not. A claim that there were no issues at the Real Madrid end of the stadium was also repeated, despite video evidence to the contrary. The pair were asked to show photos or drone footage to back the 40,000 fake ticket claim, including evidence of those with counterfeits walking away from the stadium but were unable. Liverpool have so far received more than 5,000 testimonies from fans who they have set up their own investigation into what happened while UEFA say they have commissioned an independent review. A spokesperson from Liverpool fans group Spirit of Shankly described the claims as absolute nonsense. They added, it's particularly galling as there's no video evidence to prove this not. They have started a false narrative and now they're having to go with it because the alternative is to say they are wrong put their hands up and that might be the end. What's happening is that they are actually digging a bigger holes for themselves. The 40,000 claim is absurd, that's almost half the capacity of the ground and there is no evidence. The spokesperson added that the comments had done little to ease the frustration among the club. There's a real anger and outrage, they said. A lot of the people there had been through it. The feeling is that we're up for a fight and we can't just let this go. We have to know why it happened. There has to be full transparency and an inquiry so this never happened.